Hi everyone, back again with another journal page. Um, working in my Dina Wakely uh, media journal on, I think it's linen, the substrate. So I, this page was inspired by me watching Tim Holtz's video on his new distress oxide sprays so that just got me wanted and wanting to play with the distress oxides again so I've just created a background there using all the shades of blues that I have with the distress oxides applying them with a um, brayer on a non gessoed page so I didn't gesso it at all and now I'm taking this Spellbinders standard circle small dies and using those to create circles using the Distress Oxide, um, using exactly the same colours that I'd used on the background. And I'd spritzed the background before I went onto this step with some water and patted it down with a paper towel. So just various size circles. I'm trying to go for a bokeh, bokeh effect here, but then I get carried away in a minute and made a mistake. Well, mistake with the bokeh effect. I decided that I needed to spray the workable fixative after I'd done those circles. I had two, two layers of the workable fixative and then I applied some matte medium so that the distress oxides wouldn't move. But I had, well, these white dots should have been um, applied prior to the workable fixative so that the inks below would come through and give it that soft bokeh effect. But anyway, that's okay. Worked with it. Um, so now I'm just using those same circle dies again and using an Inktense pencil to trace the circle and now using some white acrylic paint with a an angle brush dipped in water so that I can blend um, that white so it sort of gives it a feathered look like a bubble. So this image I printed using my inkjet printer onto just plain old copy paper, fussy cut it out and now adhering it with some matte medium. And now I thought that it needed some more circles on it, but just outlines. So I'm using a finger dobber, the um, finger end of it, and dipping it in some white paint and stamping that onto the page. And then I get the lid of my collage, collage page, whatever it's called, um, and stamping some larger circles on there. And now the um, fairy couldn't just be sitting mid-air, so I decided to take a large round lid and have her sitting on a bubble, blowing a bubble. So again, I'm um, painting the edges of those so-called bubbles with some white paint watered down with an angle brush. And 
and she needed a bit of shadow below her as well so I just took some Payne's Grey um, with some water and the fan brush and gave her a bit of a shadow. So I decided now that I would outline her with a white jelly roll pen. And you'll see I forget to outline between her stomach and her arm. I have done that since. <laughs> uh, taking some Tim Holtz Block Upper Alpha Foam Stamps and stamping them with Onyx Black Versafine ink. I think there were three eyes in there, so I had to stamp those individually. And it was a bit motley looking, so I needed to re-stamp them. So I stamped each letter again individually. Instead of um, going over it with a black marker, which would have made it look okay but time consuming so I'm going around all of those letters with the white jelly roll pen again and because there was a lot of white on the page it was a bit hard anyway that's it done simplicity simple page nice effect Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I'll be back next week with another video. Bye.